What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus Ally gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna have a look at Baldur's Gate 3 and Act 3. Now, this game is not easy to run in Act 3 at all. I even tried my Act 1 and 2 Steam Deck settings on the OLED and it did not work good. So, still, the Steam Deck OLED screen definitely is pretty awesome though. Not that this one's terrible or anything, but man, that screen is great, even though it's lower res than this. On such a small screen, it doesn't really matter that much. But anyway, so basically in this video, we're going to go hop on into Act 3. We're going to try it at 1080p, 900p, and 720p. So, and of course, we'll get a little bit of some camera recorded gameplay too, and some screen. We're going to try to do both so long as the capture computer and this thing cooperate, which they have been doing pretty much every single time now. So I don't see why it wouldn't. I just like throwing that out there because it used to not let me get screen recorded gameplay on this thing. But... Anyway, let's not waste any more time, and let's get this thing hooked up, and let's get into the game. Right, here we go. We're gonna try 1080p out first. And as usual, 1080p, I like to try to go with settings someone going at 1080p would wanna run at. So I just went with some high and some medium settings here, and didn't use any FSR for this test. I just wanted to keep this at native resolution for all these tests, if I can. It might not be even remotely playable, but from the little I walked around when I tested these settings, it seemed to be, you know, 30 FPS, but let's go see. All right, here we are in the game at 1080p on the ally here with some high-ish settings. There's some, not all on high, obviously. It's a mixture of high and medium to be exact. And we do drop under 60 here and there, but at the same time, it's not dropping nearly as low as the Steam Deck did here. We dropped down to 28 going down the same alley and it was constantly dropping down to probably about the same FPS here, mostly in the mid 20s. Every once in a while we would hit 30, 35, but it was also a medium and low settings with FSR uh, balanced. This is native 1080p, so it's basically matching what the Steam Deck did with higher settings and higher resolution and getting similar FPS, only not dropping now nearly as low. I think it's mostly a CPU thing, since we're taking up some of the GPU horsepower running 1080p from my testing, oh, they tend to be about the same mother. FPS. Queen this one just can usually run higher Hear settings me. as long as Please GPU, or GPU uh, blah, as long as VRAM doesn't get in the way anyway. Because remember, they're both 16 Please. gigs of, of RAM, so Sorry. they don't have a lot of VRAM to take from that. It's already started but at the when you're at 1080p sound. and whatchamacallit, 720, 900, all those different resolutions, generally yes. that doesn't get in the way. Please, you're most welcome. It's not like we we're trying to run to 4K grateful. on these things. May the wave mother smile on you. But sometimes 1080p home. requires 8 gigs of VRAM here on newer games if you want to have decent settings. This is not one of them, but some can. And if you cut 16 gigs in half, that's 8 gigs of RAM for the game. And a lot of games don't like that either anymore. A lot of games like to have 16 gigs of RAM, at least. Again, I don't know if this is one of them. I wish this thing would tell us how much VRAM and RAM it was using as well. But hey, they added a little FPS frame time bar to it. So who knows? Maybe they'll add some uh, of that to it in a later update. Oh, it looks like it's 420. So we'll go ahead and take our 420 hit and move on. All right, let's get a little bit of some 1080p gameplay here. We'll just run around for a little bit. Unfortunately, 1080p doesn't quite get us 30 all the time. But it's still, funnily enough, does a better job than the Steam Deck did with like medium and low settings at 720p. That thing was dropping down into the freaking like, teens. But I think that's because of the CPU, like I said in that video. This thing's got a much more powerful CPU, so this is a very CPU-intensive part, so that's what I'm guessing anyway. That and the GPU is still a little more powerful, too. But it is running at 1080p versus, heck, the other one even had balanced FSR helping it out, and that still didn't quite work. Though I guess when you're CPU bottleneck, no amount of FSRs are going to help. Oh, 
kind of funny how the like textures take a second to pop in. But truth be told, that happens on like everything. Even my main computer takes like a millisecond for that to kick in. That's just part of the game. The game's still awesome though. I've had a lot of fun with it. Heck, I'm sure a lot of people would find this completely playable, in fact. I mean, it's not a fast-paced first-person shooter, so it doesn't really need lots of FPS, but... I like to at least have 30. Most of the time. This one can hit 30 every once in a while, but not through these more populated parts. Anyway, though... It's time for us to go move on to 900p now. Now for some 900p. Kind of went with a medium-ish kind of settings for this particular game. So let's just go look over them just real quick. And there we are. We've just reached the bottom. So let's go see how 900p with medium settings fares at this game in Act 3. Alright, here we are at 900p. Medium settings. So let's go see what kind of frame rate we get. We still do drop under 30 every once in a while, but it seems to be like a more 30 to mid 30 FPS experience now. Now, some things may not look quite as crisp because we've turned some things down from high, but also when we blow things up to screen correctness, it also makes it a lot easier to tell. When you're on the ally screen itself, it's really not that noticeable. Like, even low looks all right. Until you get into the cutscenes. The cutscenes, on low anyway, do not look the greatest because you don't get to see, like, the finite armor and all that. I think even with medium settings, you get to see like that kind of detail. Maybe not quite as detailed, but you still get to see it. Let's go find out. We'll just go talk to this lady and we'll see if we can see her little scales in her armor. Oh, it always takes a second to load in. Queen of the depths, hear me. Yep, see so we go. No, nope, you can still see them pretty Please damn much almost exactly the same the as with things on high. Please. They Sorry. might just be slightly yeah, less dignified to find. Oh, it's already but, started. I mean, I'm really inside. nitpicking, and I'm sitting here watching myself play. You know, being able to sit there and notice oh, these no. little things. If I'm just playing, All paying attention to, to like celebrate the life what's being said in the servant. subtitles and whatnot, the wave mother or listening, or just she did whatnot, hold. I'm not paying attention to that. That's just me, though. Maybe some people just don't read the subtitles and just listen to the people. I listen to the whole conversation, but usually I just read the subtitle real quick and click next. I don't generally listen to them say the whole speech. And most games. Some games I will not do that in. Like, I just got done beating uh, Near Ultima just last night, and man, that was fun. Although, I think there might be one ending I might not have gotten. I got three different endings. So, I shouldn't say I beat all of the game, but I got quite a few endings of it. And it was a damn fun game. Now, after beating that, I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to like that uh, near Replicant as much, even though it's got more like magic, which I'm more accustomed to, as I'm a mage in this kind of game, and I love this game. This game definitely deserved Game of the Year, at least in my opinion. Anyway, though, let's go move on. Now for a little bit of some 900p. With medium settings.
Seems to be doing a pretty decent job of staying at 30. I keep leaving trails of blood. Looks like I'm going to have to charge this thing before I can do 720p. Can't record the gameplay here. We're already down to 29. But whatever, it's not like this thing takes long to charge and it's not like I need a 100% battery. I'll just let it charge up to like 45, 50% or something like that. And then finish up. That'll probably take like 15, 20 minutes tops. Probably not even that long, honestly. Probably like 5, 10 minutes. This thing charges pretty damn fast. But in any case, why don't we go move on to 720p? Last up, we're gonna do a little 720p with everything on low. Because I feel like if somebody's willing to drop the resolution all the way to 720p, they probably care more about frame rate than they do about graphics. And then when you're playing on the screen itself, it doesn't even really look that awful bad. Don't get me wrong, the other two settings, 1080p settings and my not p settings and resolutions still look way better. I'm just saying, it doesn't look that horrible. Anyway. Let's go see how it does. Last up, here we are in Act 3 at 720p with everything on low. Which is basically what I ended up running the Steam Deck at just to get halfway decently playable FPS, so. And this is doing quite a bit better. I think we're getting at least 20, 25 FPS higher than we were getting with the Steam Deck at the same settings. But that's not surprising. Faster GPU, faster CPU. Now, funny enough, the uh, this only has dual channel memory. I think the other one had quad channel memory or something like that somehow, the Steam Deck. At least that's what somebody was saying during a review. That's getting a little bit past my forte. Alright, now see what I mean? Look how undefined the armor is now, and how dull the plant looks. So, yes, we do get much more playable FPS, but... If I was going to play this game, I would personally go with, like, just on this system, like I'm pretending it's my own system, I guess I should specify. Uh, I would go with the Nyhart P settings I ran. Please, you're most welcome. Because they look pretty much almost carbon copy of 1080p. May Only we were getting quite a bit better FPS. We like now almost home. never dropped under 30, versus quite often dropping under 30. And then this one's more of like a 40 to 50 FPS experience. Still, nothing can quite do. Neither my Steam Deck or this can quite do a constant 60, at least not in Act 3. Before you get in Act 3, that's not so hard, but unfortunately, Act 3 is a is a killer. And it's mostly due to CPU bottlenecks, but this could also be GPU bottlenecked a little too, but seems as though we're not quite hitting no 99% GPU usage, so. We'll get to them soon enough. 
It's peaceful, isn't it? Peaceful for the moment. You can go when I'm free with you, little brat. But, in any case, I think it's about time for us to move on to camera. Now, for a little bit of some camera recorded gameplay here. I have some 720p with everything on low. Yeah, that way doesn't look fantastic anymore, but on this small screen, it's not as noticeable as it could be. But what's definitely noticeable is when you talk to people and whatnot. You're not going to see like super detail and armor anymore. But at least now it's in the 40s and 50s for FPS. So this is basically just for people that care more about FPS than anything. But like I said before, in this kind of game, I'd rather have some eye candy. So if I was going to play this, I'd probably do the... 900p option right in the middle sure it still dropped under 30 every once in a while but it was mostly like 35 to 30 like 8 it seemed but yeah you're not going to be able to see like detail and the plant leaves as much and you can't really see the super finite details in her armor anymore but such is low and i've definitely seen games that look a lot worse than this on low so Is that what that singing is? Well, all right, I think that's plenty of camera recorded gameplay. So now we can go ahead and go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Baldur's Gate 3 and Act 3 with all the updates and whatnot on the Asus Ally. And it didn't do the greatest at, you know, 1080p and whatnot. We dropped under 30 and even 900p dropped under 30 every once in a while. 720p did fine with everything on low, but I mean, with all of those options combined, I'm sure people can find what works for them with this game on this system. I mean, there's probably people that are completely fine with the way even 1080p was playing. I mean, there are people that enjoy the hell out of the Switch, and that thing drops under freaking 20 FPS in a bunch of games, and everyone still seems to have fun. The more technical people like me that, you know, know about this stuff call that shit out, but most normal people, they don't care. They just go in the game and they play. So, anyway, that is all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.